Greetings to all clay members across Canada from Bishop Susan Johnson and me, Archbishop Linda Nichols. We both were looking forward to being with you in Calgary for Clay 2020. I was especially looking forward to being back in the city of my birth and to celebrating with you the presence of God in our midst. Canadians, however, continue to navigate through the impact of COVID-19 and for many, this crisis has brought feelings of anxiety, apprehension, and fear. And we need to recognize and make room for these feelings, but also know that God will create a path for what needs to be adapted or restored. As you may well know, the Canadian Lutheran Anglican Youth Gathering National Planning Team has been working diligently for the past few years to pull together this in-person gathering in 2020. It has not been an easy task for the team to deal with the ever-changing landscape in the midst of the pandemic. And we want to take a moment to thank all the members of the team for their resilience, creativity, and frankly, hard work. When this summer's Clay 2020 was initially postponed, it was with every intention of holding an in-person gathering in Calgary in 2021. However, there have been a number of overwhelming complications in trying to make that a reality. And so the difficult decision has been made to move Clay 2021 to an online event. I know it's disappointing for many of you. It's disappointing for me. I've got to tell you, clay events are the ones that jack me up the most in terms of my spiritual life and my energy for this church. You do that for me. So I share your disappointment. But next year, we'll enter into a different kind of experience. It'll be a different way of gathering, probably different than anything we could even anticipate. And I hope you will be able to join me and other people from across our churches on this August 22nd as we do a preview looking forward to 2021. This theme en route was chosen without understanding the wild and crazy turn of events that we we're going to have to be dealing with. Pandemic and changing in time and putting off the gathering and so on. But it reminds us that God calls us to a journey in our baptisms and walks with us on our baptismal journey throughout our whole life. You may be feeling disappointed, you may be sad, but you know, you must know deep down that God is walking with you. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks and praise that you continue to call us to walk with you and that you promise to walk with us through the twists and turns of our life's journey. Help us to Prepare joyfully for the day when we can gather together again in another live clay event. And help us to transform our disappointment into excitement as we think about a new way of gathering together online next year. Be with us. Strengthen us. Let us feel your love. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless each and every one of you.